The following program is a paid commercial program. Views expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of News Channel 11. Hello, come on in, let's cook together. Today we're in my world and today we're gonna make deviled eggs. The right way to make deviled eggs. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna start with a pot of cold water from the tap. Now, if it doesn't feel cold enough, throw a few ice cubes in there and we're gonna make a dozen eggs. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this come up right to a boil and once it does, then you're gonna turn it off and you're gonna cover it and then we're gonna time it for nine minutes. And then once your timing is finished, we have two options. We'll take them and we can put them in an ice bath as I have done here. Normally, I would take them to the sink, drain the hot water off, run some cold water, and have a little stream of cold water running. And always remember, you're gonna break your egg from the big end. So I'm going to crack this egg here. This is one for my little demo. And so, as you see, that it is peeling really well. If you're in doubt, just submerge it down into the ice water. And uh, as, as I'm looking, it looks like that it's going to behave itself. And uh, that's what your little perfect egg will look like. Now, what we will do is we're gonna slice it. And then I'm gonna show you, as you can see how pretty and yellow this egg yolk is in the center. And it will come right out and into my bowl, no green. So I'm gonna put the other half. Now I'm gonna lay this over here on my plate. So what we're going to do is that we have, uh, I've already uh, cut some eggs and sliced them and put them in this bowl. Now we're gonna mash them up. What you need is some salt. Now you can salt to taste. Uh, everybody's a little bit different with that. So what I like to do is rough uh, mash it. Now if I'm doing for an event, I like to put mine in the processor, which I'll show you how smooth and creamy that egg yolk's going to be. Folks, just remember while I'm mashing these egg yolks to come see me down here at the Whistle Stop or visit us on Facebook. We always have something going on in this kitchen. It's, uh, it's just like family, and we want you to feel like family when you come down here to visit us. Now, so what we do is I have a half a cup of mayonnaise plus one tablespoon of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of mustard. Now, if you choose uh, to use like a pickle relish, uh, or something you know a little different to spice it up then we will um, you can use this instead of a tablespoon so what you do is you're going to stir it up now you can also use a chipotle mayonnaise and add that to your egg yolks uh, you can also use a ranch I've got some olives and some banana peppers and little paprika as a garnish so here are some that I have already um, I'm gonna sit on top of this. Have already finished here, and as you can see, this is with the creamy, where I have creamed, and it's in this bowl here. So I'm gonna take one of my uh, pastry tips and show you how that you can do that. And I also have that perfect egg right there. If you choose not to, then you can just take, and we'll just pretend I really stirred this up well, and put it in there like that. That's just like Grandma used to do. Let me place that little egg right there. Now let me show you another option, some of the tricks of the trade that I have learned over the years. We're gonna take some of these rough chopped egg yolks, let me get my spatula, and I'm gonna put it in my processor, and we're gonna blend this up, and then uh, we're gonna transfer it over into my uh, pastry bag. So let me show you how creamy and smooth that this works. All right, now that I've got my egg yolks in my processor, I'm gonna, it just takes a second or two, uh, and I'm pulsing it, not on wide open. And uh, so this is what it would look like once that uh, you've got it in your, uh, through with your processor. And I'm gonna take a little bit out. And as you can see how creamy, no lumps. No lumps, this just gives you a different idea of, uh, to do something uh, a little unique. Anyway, so I'm gonna pipe it into my pastry, sh or pastry, girls, boys, look, into my eggs. You can tell I've been decorating cakes now. So folks, the train's fixing to leave. I hope you'll catch that train and come and see me. Bye.